Sheffield is leading the way with green roof research uh, nationally. As far as green roof research goes and green roof applications go, Sheffield has far more than anywhere else in the country. Um, we have about 60 sites locally and that equates to about 75 green roofs. Well, we're on the University of Sheffield's Green Roof Centre's demonstration roof. It's given us a lovely opportunity to really lead the way on identifying some of the core scientific problems and some of the questions really integrate landscape issues with engineering issues. I think that's one of the things that makes our work unique. What a green roof is, uh, is an intentionally vegetated roof space. There are lots of different forms. You either have a shallow very engineered system, maybe 10 centimetres of substrate, a small drainage layer underneath, plants growing on top, don't require too much maintenance. Or you can have a more intensive system that will allow you, it's more like a garden, you can grow more interesting plants there. Green roofs have the potential to offer us a wide range of benefits in the urban environment. They include biodiversity, I've just seen a bumblebee climb onto one of the plants here but also mitigating of heat island effects and really nice amenity benefits for people. My personal interest is in their potential regarding urban stormwater management. The facility here is, is certainly unique. What we wanted to do is to run tests in parallel that would really allow us to separate out different performance aspects of the roof. So what we're aiming at doing here is disaggregating the green roof performance down into its different component parts and developing models that would allow us ultimately to say, OK, I want to use this system, these plants in London, here's my rainfall input, and to be able to predict what the stormwater runoff will actually be. And we think, actually, if we can do this, this may make it a more realistic and feasible solution for engineers to adopt. It's been a bit of a barrier up to now. We've got parallel studies going on where we are taking the substrates and we're doing all sorts of soil physical characterization on them. We're looking in detail at their moisture retention properties, particularly how long the moisture will be available to the plants as well as how much it will retain of the stormwater. So it's really one part of a broader program of research that should all come together to improve our understanding and generate a, a useful modeling tool for us. Green roof substrates are typically made of lightweight materials, often incorporating recycled brick, which could, can improve their sustainability. And obviously, different mineral contents, different organic contents, different shapes, sizes, will affect the way that these substrates hold on to the moisture. So we've got three different examples here. This is another brick-based one, another commercial substrate. The one behind us here is more of an expanded clay, which is another horticultural uh, product that can be used for substrates. It's an example of, in some cases, best practice, but also a physical location where architects, um, local authority planners and academics could come to get a real understanding and a feel for what a green roof is and how the different applications of it can be applied. We're very fortunate in that our remit allows us to mix uh, not only within the faculty but with other departments. So for instance here this, this particular roof is on the Department of um, Engineering Materials and we also do work with civil engineering, uh, architecture, animal plant science and it's a really good opportunity for interdisciplinary work across different departments as well as faculty wide.